First, we want to um, check that we're running the latest version of SAS, so we can quickly do that with this command. Um, the next thing we want to do, um, well, if you're not running the latest version of SAS, you can just quickly update your gem. So sudo uh, gem update SAS, like so. And then we want to run the uh, SAS watch command with the source maps flag passing in. So if you're not familiar with this command, we're just going to watch, con continually run this uh, SAS. We're going to watch the these two dir this directory and we're going to output it to this file here. So we just fire that guy up. And if we head over to um, our editor and save that file, you'll notice a new file will be created here. So we've got a styles.css.map file. Let's go back to the terminal super quick. Um, to enable source maps in Chrome to kind of work, you also want to set up a, um, a simple server. And if by running this small command, we've now got our um, index.html um, available to us in the browser at this port. So next thing we'll do is go over to Chrome and just reload this page here. So here we go, super simple uh, Hello World example. And in the networks, in the, in the sources tab, we want to add a right click and then select our directory. So in this case, all my files are in source maps example. And then we have to allow Chrome full access to that directory. So you can see we've got the uh, the folders down here and our SAS. Uh, the next step is that right click and we want to map to network resource. And we want to click this um, and accept the prompt. If this doesn't seem to, um, you don't have these options, you just head over to the DevTools settings and make sure you've got enable CSS source maps and auto reload generated CSS selected. So if we go back into the elements tab, you'll see now that we've got styles.scss instead of styles.css, um, which is cool. So pretty much there. Um, if we just inspect this guy, we go, we'll go into our SAS file and we're like, okay, let's um, let's do some changes. So we can now edit in this this file, and whatever we do here and save it, it's reflected back in our file on the disk. So say we want to change the font size to forty, and you'll notice this little star here, which means it's unsaved. So Command S. And all going well, you see, I didn't reload the browser at all. It, it did it all for me. And if we go back into our SAS file, you'll see that's now 40. Uh, pretty cool. Um, one other um, small trick you can do, if we're, you'll notice that I'm importing variables and inside variables we've got a background color of silver. So within the Chrome DevTools, you can kind of dive in there. So if you hold command, you'll see this little underline and we'll click there, it takes us to the variables um, SAS file, which is crazy cool. Um, maybe we just wanna make that white, save that, and there we go. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, this increases your development time. Cheers.